Resiliency. As members of the National Guard, we must be resilient to the unique challenges we are given. But what does that mean? To be resilient means to be mentally as well as physically prepared for the distinctive situations that are presented to us. To be resilient means to overcome and gain strength in the face of adversity. Resilience is what makes us stronger. Uh, and we, we spend a lot of time and effort, and well we should, on developing the best weapon systems we can. Stronger vehicles, faster vehicles, more accurate bombs for airmen. But it all comes down to, there's got to be a soldier or airman that, that operates that equipment or pulls that trigger or you know, does what we do. Well, we probably ought to spend as much time as possible strengthening them. In 2006, the Kansas National Guard suffered the same number of suicides related to combat as it did death from combat. Major General Todd Bunting, Adjutant General of Kansas, and State of Kansas Command Sergeant Major Steve Rodina saw a clear need to prevent post-traumatic stress caused by combat tours and disaster missions. General Bunting started a multifaceted approach, putting several initiatives in motion, one of which was the creation of the Resiliency Center. The focus of the center is to develop curricula that focuses on building resiliency for Guard members and their families. To create the most relevant and practical information, the Resiliency Center has developed several partnerships to include the Israeli military and mental health experts the Walter Reed Army Institute for Research, the National Defense University, as well as analyzing existing military leadership and stress management training programs, collaborating with military and civilian experts, and conducting guardsmen interviews. The result is a course designed to give leaders the tools to model and foster resiliency within their units as well as their lives outside the Guard. The course you're about to take, Flash Forward, is the first curriculum developed by the Resiliency Center. It is comprehensive training that instills the tools necessary to handle high-level stress, accurately identify potential problems, and develop both individual and group techniques to survive and prosper in times of great stress. Throughout the course, you'll learn about the components of resiliency, understand the key characteristics of a good leader, learn how to self-assess key leadership skills, assess the individual and unit's well-being, functioning, and preparedness related to stress, and develop, prepare, and implement a plan based on the assessed level of stress. You'll be given the tools to handle high-level stress, as well as to develop leadership skills to effectively enhance family resiliency and recognize the role of spiritual resiliency. At the end of the course, you'll have a resiliency action plan that will outline all of these facets and aid in implementing your plan in your unit. In essence, you'll come away with a toolbox that you'll tailor to your needs and the needs of your unit. Welcome to Flash Forward.